Hey, welcome back to the Missouri Sports Network, MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. Brought to you by Central Bank of the Ozark Shelter Insurance, Grant Baker in Aurora, Labor's Local 663, Great Southern Bank, Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks, and the Bank of Billings. And as always, the Missouri State Highway Patrol reminds us to take that three seconds and buckle up. It's three seconds that could save your life. Going back down to South Iron High School for our second time this year, following the Chevy Dealers of the Ozarks Athlete of the Week segment. But uh, South Iron Lady Panthers volleyball head coach Megan Williams joins us here. And Coach Williams, congratulations on, on the Final Four appearance. Thank you so much. It's been a crazy week around here, but uh, I'm super, super proud of the girls, and we're all riding pretty high right now. We're all pretty excited. So you get a district championship, then you come out, you face Winona in the sectionals, and then you've got Blue Eye, and uh, you shut Blue Eye out 3 nothing. Kind of tell us about those two matches. Yeah, um, we knew Winona was going to be a battle in our sectional game, and um, they had beaten us in three during regular season play and my girls did not play well and Winona played really, really well that game. Um, so we watched a lot of film um, the day before that sectional match and um, had a game plan, made a couple adjustments and then came out, my girls came out ready to play. Um, we talked about when, when they played, a, um, when we played them regular season, we didn't play our best game and we knew that. Um, and so it kind of got the girls fired up and um, ended up beating them in four, which was awesome. Um, we did a lot of things. Well, we played clean volleyball and we played our, our game, which is something that I've been talking about all year long. Um, and they played hard, you know, all credit to Inona. Inona's had a, had a really great volleyball team this year. Um, and then against Blue Eye, same thing. We watched, we got some film on them, watched some film and um, had a game plan together after watching that film. And my girls executed um, and played really well against a strong Blue Eye team. A lot of very, very strong athletes on that team. Um, and we came out and, and played hard and did what we needed to do. Yeah, you mentioned Blue Eye. Blue Eye's familiar to this area. Uh, very athletic team. They've got kids that, you know, they share kids in multiple sports with cross country, basketball, and, and obviously volleyball. Well, now you've got, on your side of the bracket, you have a Gideon, who you are also familiar with. You played them early in the year, back in uh, mid-September. Uh, tell us what you know about Gideon and what you're going to have to do to come out on top. Yeah, uh, Gideon, another really, really strong team. Um, they've got some good attackers, um, and then they've got some really good defense. They're a pretty scrappy team. Um, and we played them at SEMO in the Dig for Life tournament um, in September, as you mentioned. Um, it was another game we probably did not play our best. I watched it on film uh, two nights ago, and we made a lot of hitting errors. I think we made 20 hitting errors. So you're not going to beat any team whenever you have that many hitting errors. So um, I think my girls know that we didn't play our best, and um, but we're still going to have to play hard to beat them. We're going to have to um, get some blocks going and then be all out attackers. They've got some good defense, as I mentioned. Um, so we have a pretty, pretty solid game plan, and um, as long as we play our game, I like our chances against them. Hey, Coach, yeah, this is obviously – this is the first – uh, you guys are going to participate in the Final Four on Friday. What are you doing kind of between now and then? Uh, are you watching a lot of film? Uh, and what what's the health status? I know it's late in the season. A lot of times you get kids that maybe get run down a little bit or tweak an ankle or something like that. But overall, talk about your health and then what you're going to be doing between now and, and uh, November 5th. Yeah, absolutely. Um What's good is what kind of helps us out is the, a lot of these girls have been in this position for in basketball. Um, so they kind of know, you know, what this week entails and how important it is to take care of your body. But um, we're going to watch film today and um, do a uh, my practice tomorrow and then um, a pretty intense practice Wednesday. And then we'll do um, a light practice at uh, the show me center on Thursday. So um, I'm just going to make sure I tell my girls, we need lots of rest, lots of sleep, uh, eating good food. Cause like you mentioned this point in the season, it's all about taking care of your body and um, you know, not wanting any injuries at this point. So I'm going to harp on them a lot today. Whenever we watch film to make sure that they're taking care of themselves sweet. Cause we had a big week last week. We had four big games in six days. So we need lots of rest this week. So you guys, you guys headed down there on Thursday then? Yep, we're going to leave Thursday um, around noon. We're going to have a pep rally and stuff here, and then we'll head out. Very good. So what? Uh, how long does it take you? It's not just maybe an hour or two over there? Yeah, it's right. At, I think right at two hours. Very good. Very good. Well, again, we're visiting with Coach uh, Megan Williams from South Iron Later Pan Lady Panthers Volleyball. 26-8-1 as you prepare to 
take on Gideon, and that will go up at uh, 6 o'clock on Friday there at the Show Me Center in Cape Girardeau. Coach, as always, we appreciate you being generous with your time, and, and best of luck, and hopefully we'll get to visit on Saturday or Sunday. You've got the biggest, biggest trophy. I, I hope so. That's our goal. So thank you so much, and thank you for taking the time out of your day to talk with me. Hey, you as well. Couldn't do it without you, Coach. You're listening to and watching the Missouri Sports Network at MissouriSportsNetwork.com, where everyone has a home field advantage. And keep it right here.